Hi, I'm Kim the Chiropractor and I'm showing you ways to move better so you can stay feeling better. Today we're going to tackle the laptop and how to use it uh, more correctly at home to protect your spine. So a lot of the time we do have to take work home, we need to use it before work or after work or if we're just, you know, casually cruising the internet. So a couple of things that what typically happens when we're on our laptop is we either perch on the edge of our chair and then our muscles and our lower back get tired from holding us up here and we end up kind of slouching down in through like this. So when we slouch down like this, what happens is our head comes forward. This causes muscles to pull on the base of our neck, causes our shoulders to round and tighten up in through here and all along the top of our back. So we get quite achy in there. Some people may even get achy in their, um, in their back as well. And then of course our lower back rounds out and instead of being in that nice curve, it goes this way as well. Now, short term, we might get a bit of muscle ache. We might not even notice it, but over time, this is gonna cause muscles to weaken, muscles pull on bones, and we lose those lovely curves that we should have in our spine. So this is gonna show you some tips that you can do to protect your spine and of course keep you feeling well. So the first tip I have is find a towel. So go raid your towel cupboard. Ideally find a relatively small one, so it rolls up nice and um, small, and then that's gonna go just in the small of your back. So ideally we wanna have our back in a nice curve. Like I said before, often when we try and prop ourselves up into this position, muscles get tired and then they slouch down. So instead of allowing them to get tired, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it in a nice um, relaxed position where the curve should naturally be. So it's got a nice curve, sits just above our pant line or the top of our hip bone, and then we can lean back in the chair. So now you can see already I'm leaning further back. Now this is gonna take a lot of strain off that lower back. It's gonna take some of the strain off our neck and shoulders as well. However, what we'll tend to do is still crane forward with our head as the laptop screen is so low. So this is fine short term. Short term, what I'd recommend every 20 or 30 minutes, Roll your shoulders back, tuck your chin in, and do a little look up at the ceiling. So reset your posture, and then go back to doing whatever you're working on. This just gives those muscles a break, so you're ready to go again. Uh, prevents you from getting further and further stooped in your chair. If, however, you're going to be doing this um, quite regularly, you have to take home work often, or you often are on your laptop in the weekends for more than a couple of hours, what I'd recommend is you invest in a, uh, in a mouse and a keyboard. So a mouse and a keyboard, what that does is allows you to separate essentially the keyboard from the screen and prop up that screen. So if you just bear with me for a second, I'm gonna set all that up and show you how it all works. Alrighty, so what you can see here is I still have my lower back curve um, in through here from that lovely towel that I had earlier. We have our keyboard and of course our mouse. And what I've done is just propped up my laptop on a couple of textbooks actually. Um, now you may not have textbooks lying around, but a lot of the time we have books, cookbooks, that sort of stuff, kids toys sometimes are nice and square, a box, um, some wood planks, anything that's going to raise up that screen and what we want to do is get it to a point where the top of the screen is pretty much in line with the eyes so ideally it should be about five to ten degrees just below um, but in general eye level is much better than where it was earlier before we pop those textbooks underneath there so now what i can do is i can lean back into my towel on my chair allow these shoulders to sit back allow my head to sit back. I can see the screen nice and clearly um, and then just work away on my keyboard and mouse. So by keeping in this position, I'm protecting those lovely curves in my spine. I'm not overworking the muscles, so I'm less likely to have problems later that day, later that week, later that month, you know, years down the track as well. So that's the lovely tips that I have for working on your laptop. If you have any great tips for working on your laptop, comment below. Um, or if you have any just general tips um, that you like to do around the house as well, I'd love to hear them. 
Um, otherwise, that's me. I'm Kim, the chiropractor, helping you move better so you can stay fitter and better.